The tail boom, carbon fiber hollow tube, broke it to pieces pretty darn quickly. So I wanted to go ahead and get the, the aluminum tube one, and uh, I also got it from Microheli. It is a great little unit, and it comes in two different ways that you can install it. These these little white pieces, some are big enough to put the entire piece, aluminum tube, in the white piece. But then, some people may not be replacing this, so this one actually fits the original tail boom size, so you can put your original tail boom in that particular frame. So you kind of got two choices on those little white pieces. I decided that if I put this this in and used it this way that with all my indoor hard crashes that this tube was going to bend or break or it was going to snap so I I really kind of wanted and this is what comes with the tail boom it's a little tiny carbon fiber piece and it's got it's got uh, where am I okay sorry it's got two little screw holes in it and you slide it in You slide it into the tail, and I, I've got a closed up loss, so I'm not going to do it, but you slide it in, and then you put screws in it. And then you stick the un unit in here and tighten it down with, with uh, your screwdriver. The reason I chose to go this way was because I wanted a point of failure. I didn't want my frame to break. I didn't want my aluminum tail to break. I wanted this to break on a very hard crash. Unfortunately, that did work, but it worked way too well. And I think they've got a design flaw here because this tube has a big slit down the middle, down here. And this slit, when this rod is in here, when you have a hard crash, it allows the rod to kind of want to pop out this way. And because there's these two holes, your carbon fiber rod is already weakened and it just immediately splits. <coughs> Excuse me, I went through five of these in a week. It was just like, I mean, they worked, but I was taking some hard hits. Again, I'm a beginner and an indoor flyer knows hard hits are pretty hard to avoid sometimes. So I ended up developing uh, my own system and it wasn't very easy and it's not very pretty but it's worked really well for me uh, because I was, I've been trying it out and it still does break on my system, uh, not damaging anything else, but it lasts a lot longer. It's, it's not uh, as flawed design. So what I did is I went out and purchased some carbon fiber rod that you can get. It's, you know, uh, about a three foot length or something and cut off a piece to the size that I needed and but the the problem was is the diameter this is um oh gosh i can't remember what size it is i'll i'll flash it up on the screen but the closest i could get was just uh, just a little bit smaller than the stock so it had a lot of slop in there uh in both sides in both holes what i ended up doing was first of all Putting this in and not having the holes in it, I figured, would make it so so that it wouldn't break so e easy, that the carbon fiber would not be uh, so weak because of the holes. But to get that in and to hold it in tight, I went out and bought some collars, and you can get these and I'll try to flash something up there on that. Um, so I went out and got a collar and put, put that on there. And now I have a nice piece that sticks in there and it holds it really well. It pinches, 
pinches close that gap and holds it really, really well. But then this side was too loose, and but barely too loose. So what I did is got out some of the old handy JB Weld again and just put a little bit of epoxy on the end of that. Just scraped it on, nothing fancy, just to give it a little bulk and let it dry. And now it slips in there pretty good, but when I tighten down the screw, it tightens the tail real nice and I leave I leave a little bit of a gap in here because if this was all the way up against it, it wouldn't have a way to break and I, wanna, I want it to break at this point. So I leave a little bit of a gap, I tighten it down and voila, it, it works like a champ. It snaps right there or breaks right there, but not near as often as is the stock piece. Overall, uh, I'm really happy with the, the modifications. Uh, Again, Microheli is what I've stuck with. There's some other brands out there. The other part of the tail boom situation is um, Microheli came with, with the boom. I bought the piece that had uh, the extra nice pretty tail, carbon fiber tail on it. And it hung out. Let's see, where's the tail here? It would attach here and it was a, like a real pretty piece on here, which is broken now. And it actually screwed in, into this piece here. Well, the problem with that is, number one, on, on the tail, when I tighten these down, I, I don't tighten up here too hard. I want this to be able to turn with a certain amount of friction so when I crash and the tail's here, it'll spin and not break anything. So. I'll, so as long as when I'm flying, it doesn't flex and, and get loose, I, on a crash, it will give. But even with doing that, this carbon fiber, even though it's carbon fiber, it broke almost immediately. And, and I epoxied it, and it just broke at another spot immediately. So this I would not purchase. Uh, I, it, it just it just broke way too easy. What I ended up doing is going ahead and sticking with the stock model and it just clips on. You can just put it on there and push it on and voila it's on there with, with no problem except where that screw goes in it's sticking out and, and kind of pushes the tail out a little bit it'll fly like that, it'll stay on like that, it's not a big deal. I went ahead and, and poked a little hole in the tail just so that screw would come through and it would seat, you know, real nice. But overall, I'm sticking with this because it pops off every time I crash with no damage and so I'm sticking with this instead of their super great uh, carbon fiber tail boom. Again, this is indoor heli warfare. You're outside flying in the grass. You probably don't hear, have near the failures, near the crashes. This is the way to go uh, on an indoor heli.